Hey y'all, it's Jay, as you may know, or as you should know, <laughs> get it together. I feel like this is my first video recorded with my hair this short. I come out here February 8th, as all of you should know by now. If you don't know, you can check out the tapered haircut fail video on the channel. But yeah, I come out here on February 8th, and I'm like waiting on it to grow back because I felt like I needed a new start and new beginnings and stuff like that. And like my nose stopped up too, so excuse this whole situation that's going on. But I felt like I needed a new start and a new beginning, especially after all the stuff that I've been through and after all the stuff that I'm trying to get over and stuff like that. So that's also a reason why I'm here to talk to you all about why after four years of college, I am taking a break. A lot of people have been asking me, oh, so y'all got here like that? So we just gonna jump right on into this topic. Many of you may know by now, um, I graduated salutatorian on my high school class. Of course, uh, you actually do work because you have to go to school, like you have no choice. So graduating high school, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I really knew that I didn't really want to go to college. I didn't want to get a job either because I'm not a nine to five type chick. I don't like waking up doing the same thing over and over and over again. At least if you go to college, like you only go to certain classes, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. I don't have to wake up at the same time every day to go to the same class every day to do the same thing every day. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to college. Get to college, I go to Austin P State University, freshman year, major in psychology. Took that general psychology class, I passed it, but I was just like, this is not for me. Like, I'm not about learning about the brain and stuff. I'm not down with it. So, I changed my major to sociology. Then, I transferred because of a relationship that I was in. That, that's going to be in another video, but, you know. Transferred to the Russ College in Holly Springs, Mississippi. So, I went there and I majored in mass communication. Then, I changed my major to social work. Then, I changed it to a double major in mass communication and social work. It didn't work out in Holly Springs, Mississippi. So, I went back. To Austin P. Junior year. Changed my major to HHP, which is Health and Human Performance, if you don't know. Then I was like, uh, it's cool. It was alright. The classes was easy. I just, the uh, anatomy, that's where they had me messed up at. I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do that. So I switched it to English, philosophy, art, theater, and dance, you know. I just kept changing. Cause I was like, since I already transferred once, it's so important to me to transfer it again. Because like I know this place. I like these people. And because I transferred that one time and I didn't like that one time, I didn't want to transfer it to somewhere else and not like it there and have to stay there. So a lot of people was like, Oh, I know you're not happy in school because I was not happy. Like what's so uh, what's so uh that don't even make sense. Whatsoever I was not happy. And I was just there. That last half of fall 2015, that just passed, I did not go to class. Um, I did not even take my finals, to be honest. I was at home before finals even started. So with me not going to class, I was I had a lot of time to think. And I was just sitting there and I was thinking like, why am I here? And the only reason that I could come up with was why I was still at Austin P is because everybody keeps saying it doesn't matter what you get a degree in. Just get one. You're a young black woman in America. You need a degree to make it in life. You need to be, oh, work twice as hard. Do twice as much. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do that. But I feel like my God won't do it. <laughs> catch the spirit it's bigger than any degree i can get it's bigger than any reason that you can give me for me to stay in school you feel me so i feel like my faith is bigger than that so i was just like you know what this not my scenery i know it took me four years to figure it out we're really not four three and a half like 3.75 really but it took me that long to figure out well i knew it but it took me that long to get the confidence to actually act on what I felt in my heart. School is stressful, and, and you really don't understand 
the stress level of school until you actually been in school. Like, it's, whew. I'm stressed out just thinking about like my, oh, my brain hurt right here. I don't have time for that stress in my life. I don't. I feel like school don't do nothing but teach obedience. So, like turn this paper in at this day and it is to have this, 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 and that in it. And then you just do it. I'm not really learning nothing other than how to follow directions and I can do that like at the house clearly. I feel like college is a place where you just go and you learn about yourself, learn about what you like, what you don't like and stuff like that. I it's discouraging to see uh, everybody motivated. Everybody like, oh, I'm gonna graduate. Oh, they cancel class. People get mad because they cancel classes. I be mean, like, I'm right. I'm like, you can't. Like, we gotta go. <laughs> like, and it's just like, okay, I don't belong here. It seems like everybody is so focused. Everybody is so motivated. Everybody is so ready to push towards this degree or push towards whatever dream that they have and you just sitting there like I'm just here like this school really doesn't have what I want to do but I like y'all I like the people so I'm just here I, I don't want to be at home so I'm here I don't want to be a doctor I don't want to be a lawyer I don't want to be a janitor I don't want to be a teacher I, I don't want to sell insurance I don't want to sell houses I don't want to be a truck driver I don't want to do none of that everything that has a path for you to take I don't want to do and a lot of people were like oh but you are made it this far just pick something just do it finish it just get a degree it don't even matter what you get a degree in. just get one just to say you got one and I'm like, and I'm wasting time because while I'm getting a degree just to say I got a degree, I could be using that time that I'm getting a degree that I'm not going to need just to say that I got one. Just hang one up on my wall and say, bam, here she goes. She did that. Um, I feel like I could be doing like what I really love to do, finding out what I really love to do, pursuing what I really love to do. So I want to let anybody else that's going through the same situation though, that it's okay. It's okay to not know what you want to do in life. It's okay, like I'm 22, I just turned 22 in December. Like, it's okay to be free. It's okay to be young. Like you young, you got you, the rest of your life to get it together. You got the rest of your life to be serious. Like have fun, discover who you are, find who you are. It's all right. I promise it's all right. I'm loving this. I only been home for, what's today? Wednesday. I got here Saturday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've been here for four days. And like, I feel good. I'm not doing nothing. I need to do something. I'm trying to find something to do, but like, I feel great. I feel like a whole weight been lifted off my shoulders, especially with this hair, you know? <laughs> you feel me? But it's okay to do what you want to do. It's okay to do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, it is your life. Not anyone else's life. It's not your mama's life. It's not your dad's life, your grandparents' life, your boyfriend, girlfriend's life. It's yours. So whatever you want to do with your life, do it, poor black and appear. Especially right now at this age, if y'all in this age range, like you can drop something in a heartbeat, pick something back up. Like it's not that serious, but I want to have fun in my life. You feel me? I still don't know exactly what God has planned for me in my life right now, but I trust him completely. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going back to school. I don't know if I'm going to get a job. I don't know if I'm moving out of town. I don't know if I'm staying here. I don't know what's going to happen. But what I do know is that whatever happens, I know God got his hands on it. And I'm ready for it. You feel me? I, I'm excited to see what my life has in store. I, when people see me, I want them to see my success and be like, that ain't nobody but God. God hair is all over that because she doesn't have the right qualifications. She doesn't have a degree. She doesn't do this or do that. So that has to be God because she can't get to those places by herself. And that's just me. Like, I feel like my face is that big that that can happen. Like, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be magnificent. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be grand. It's going to be great. It's going to be big. It's going to be full of life and full of personality and full of forgiveness and full of love and full of 
I don't know, everything, greatness, and full of God. You feel me? It's just, I feel it's in my blood. You know, that bloodline is strong. So with that being said, I just want to let you all know that I, Jared Denise Clark, am no longer a student at Austin P State University. Tear, I'm gonna miss y'all, I'm gonna miss y'all. <laughs> the people y'all know, I'm gonna miss y'all, but I'm not gonna miss school at all. Point blank and period. This not set in stone, but I'm thinking about going to like a fashion school or I don't know about a technical school. I don't know about that. But I'm thinking about either going to a fashion school or going to a school that has a fashion program so I can do that. But as far as Austin P, it's a wrap for that. I'm sorry. It's a wrap. Um, I'm going to miss y'all, but it's a wrap. <laughs> I'm only doing it. See y'all in the next video.